Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Alright, guess what? I am now using a controller. Yes, despite what I said at the end and kind of throughout the last episode, that I was pretty sure I'd be better with the keyboard and mouse than the controller just because of how bad I am with the controller. Well, I've changed my mind because after the end of the first episode, I got really obsessed with getting better. That's what this game does, it just gets in your head. It burrows inside of your head like some sort of a parasite and just makes you want to just keep playing it. I ended up staying past midnight. Just, I kept fighting the enemies out here. I'd fight the enemies, and then I'd come back to this bonfire to respawn them, and then fight them, and, and I just kept practicing, and I realized a couple things. One. One of the things is that the reason my attacks seemed so slow when I was using the mouse and keyboard is because all of the attacks I, w I was doing were strong attacks. They were these attacks. Sorry, not those. These. The strong attacks are obviously much slower than the fast ones. That's how that works. The reason for that is because I forgot that how you activate, with mouse and keyboard, how you activate the strong attacks is by double-clicking. And I was spamming the button to attack. So I was doing this. I was constantly... I was just constantly clicking to try to attack as fast as possible, but in doing that, I was only using strong attacks. So then I realized, alright, so if I'm going to use mouse and keyboard and I want to do fast attacks as fast as possible, like this, I'm using the controller here, then what I have to do is I have to click fast enough to make sure I'm not, you know, to make sure I'm attacking as fast as possible, but don't click too fast so that the game doesn't think I'm double-clicking and does a strong attack. That's when I realized, you know what, using the mouse and keyboard is shit. Having a mouse button be able to do a normal attack and do a strong attack in the same button is not good. On the controller, it's separate. It's a separate button for the fast attack and a separate button for the strong attack. The second thing I realized that absolutely convinced me I should use a controller is this. It's the fact that... <laughs> for some strange reason, the mouse is actually delayed more than the controller. The response time is far more with the mouse than the controller when it comes to attacking. So here's... I'm using a fast attack here with the controller. I'm gonna press the button next to the microphone so you can hear how fast... You can hear and see how fast the attack actually happens after I press the button. Now here's the mouse. Again, controller. Mouse. It is delayed as freaking hell. By at least a couple hundred milliseconds, I think. It, and in a game that's all about timing, the thought of playing while trying to tightly control how fast I click the mouse to attack as fast as possible without instituting, without doing strong attacks, and also having all of my attacks delayed, I realized, no. That's shit. That's complete shit, so yeah, I'm using a controller. It's just better. It really is just better. Also, I realized how to do... Uh, what's it called? Parrying? I'll demonstrate it. <laughs> yeah, I've cleared most of these guys out, now most of them don't respawn. Alright, see if I can do with this guy. This guy's actually relatively tough. Let's see... Nope, didn't do it. Nope. Messed up. And... Nope. Messed up. I can do it. I gotta time it just right for when he attacks. Nope. Come on. It's really difficult. Damn it! <laughs> the normal guys... The normal versions of those guys without the, the shield and the long sword... It was really easy to activate it for them, but that one, I... I kept trying it on him again and again, and it's just really fucking hard. Oh yeah, and since I was farming these guys, I also gathered a bunch of souls. So I've got, what, like 1300? Yeah, 1350. No idea how to spend it, though. Alright, let's try that again. Don't you shoot me. Serpentine! Serpentine! Damn it, come on. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> Can you believe I actually trained in this area fighting these people for like a half hour? It certainly doesn't look like it, does it? 
It's really not a good feeling to not be used to a peripheral. It's really fucking difficult. It's really fucking difficult to be learning this game and learning a controller at the same time. For that guy, it's really just better to just dodge and attack rather than try to do the parry thing, but let me... I see if I can demonstrate on this guy. This guy's actually relatively tough. He did a, a crazy leaping attack on me once, which just wrecked me. No. Nope. Jesus. Alright, I'm just gonna kill you. It's really fucking hard to time it right. You gotta wait until they're, like, just about to hit you with their sword or axe or whatever. And then you have to do this. And it does an awesome thing that stuns them. Whee! <laughs> Alright, what am I gonna do here? Now, where's the person with the bow? Alright, that's them up there. So if I fight him over on the right, then the bow guy might not be able to hit me. Alright, I've noticed when I have a large group of them, if I can get away from them for a second and I do a strong attack while they're running at me, I can kind of hit all of them. I'm gonna try that. And if that doesn't work after a couple tries, then I'm probably gonna try the ladder trick again. Oh yeah, I should mention when I was farming these guys off screen, I also got a new weapon. That's not where the weapons are. Equipment. Yes. I got the Foot Soldier Sword, which is actually better in every way than what I have, except that it has very low durability. In fact, it's actually about to break. It is about to break. That's going to be a problem. It might break during this fight. Hmm. Yeah, it does quite a bit more damage. 95 instead of 80. Better in various other ways as well. I did not mean to do that. Great, coming into the fight with even less health. Wonderful! Gotta get my life, life gems. Get, get the gems ready. Let's go! Like this? No, no, no. There we go. Very good for controlling groups. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta get behind the tree again. See, I'm definitely getting better. Whoa, I can actually attack that guy? I do not want to attack him. Because he doesn't seem to want to kill me, and he also looks really fucking strong. Did I mention that this game's beautiful? Look at this. Beautiful. Again, not particularly high fidelity, but the art direction is exceptional. Another gem. And yes, I know it's pronounced gem. A broken straight sword. Yay! A broken sword. Yeah, this sword's actually about to break. I should switch it out. Can I remember how to switch it out? Yes, I can. That's a nice thing. You have this directional pad. Yeah, this is one of the other swords that I had at the beginning of the game. That one of the witches, or whatever they were, gave to me. Which I think might be the DLC, the pre-order DLC bonus bullshit. It seems slightly better than the default shield, so that's why I went with it. Plus it looks badass. How did you die? Let me guess. Got stabbed? Yep. Yep, that tends to happen. Oh, 
Looks like I could almost light this on fire or something. But it just looks like a pile of bones, and I don't think you can light bones on fire. Wait, can I not talk to him? Oh, Jesus. I wonder what would happen if he accidentally got shot. I'm actually curious. Hold on, I want I want this asshole to shoot him. Come on. Come on. Land a bow in his ass. I want to see what he does. <laughs> it's going right over his head. Come on. Come on. Ah, it's not gonna happen. <sighs> I wonder what's gonna happen when I hit my first boss fight. I guess the answer to that is probably die. Very promptly die. Oh, that guy just woke up, didn't he? Yes, he did. Okay, let me demonstrate the... thing I was talking about with the shield with this guy. This guy should be a lot easier. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Fuck me. I wonder if I should even bother with that goddamn timed shield bash motherfucking thing. It doesn't seem worth it. When you pull it off, it's great, but look what keeps happening. I'm just throwing my shield out there and opening myself up to attacks and accomplishing nothing. Fucking nothing. I really want to demonstrate it so, you, so I can actually show you it fucking exists, but I seem to be incapable of that. Ow. Right, let's try this again. time find even use the Estus flask. It's almost like you're not even intended to use it in battle. Oh, I never recovered my souls, did I? I think that means I might be gone. Eh, whatever. I'm beyond caring. I'm also beyond caring about these douchebags. Actually, no, wait, I need to kill them. They're gonna come up the ladder. Yeah, I knew you were going to shoot me with that bow. Nope. <sighs> Come on, I can do this. There we go. There was the thing. I finally did it once. Uh, if you wait for them to fall all the way down and then attack them, you can do like a... Seems to be a guaranteed kill sort of stabbing thing. If you don't wait for them to fall down, it seems like it doesn't accomplish much at all. Of course, since you do have to wait for them to fall down, it doesn't seem to actually be a very good idea to attempt to do that when you're fighting a group of enemies, because then, you know, you're not really going to have time to stab them and do the whole finishing move animation. Okay, I'm definitely getting better. All right. Let's go kill this asshole. All right. 
And do I want to know what's through here? I'm really worried that every time I find a... A veil of mist, that's... That, uh, what's behind it is a boss. Also, what's up with this guy? Should I kill him? I mean, I'm not going to. He's not attacking me. I'm trying to see if he has something in his hand. Almost looked like he had a key in his hand, but no, he doesn't. I, yeah, I have no reason to kill a guy who's not trying to attack me. Alrighty. Yeah, I need a sword of more durability. This thing is just... I mean, I basically just went through one fight and it's already passed half durability. Okay. I also really want to get up there, and it looks like the only way to do that is if I jump from here. Hold on, the way you jump on a, con on a controller is really weird. Uh, it's dash plus press down the left stick? Yes. I'm not sure if that's really going to push me far enough. Alright, let's try it. Oh, yes. What does this message say? Hooray for projectile, therefore try tough enemy. What? Try tough enemy. Does that mean try to attack the guy in the center? I'm not sure where the therefore is coming from. Because of projectile, therefore try... What? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Soul of a nameless soldier and a ten throwing knives. Ooh. 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 I should look at what this shit is. Also, I should probably put my throwing knives down here. Um. Alright, what's this stuff actually do? Revert? Yeah, I know a human effigy reverses hollowing. And I know that'll put me up to, I think, max health. And other stuff. It allows me to summon humans, I believe. Amber Herb. Slightly restores spell uses. Doesn't matter to me. Fully restores HP. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Used to acquire souls. Oh, that's right. It, yeah, you, like, crush it or whatever. Use it. And you get a bunch of souls. Alright, so what does this stuff do over here? Used to acquire souls. Okay. I don't... As far as I know, they don't have any other uses. Other than just giving you souls, right? A petrified object that is pleasant to touch. A rare and peculiar thing, to be certain, but one without a known purpose. Alright, through the mist, or up? I think I'm gonna go up. Because that should take me to that asshole who's shooting arrows at me, and I really want to kill him. I remember, though, that the stairs up here are a tad bit crowded. Try jumping. That is actually a very good tip. I will write that up. Yeah, I remember I tried to attack these guys up here, and my sword just kept hitting the side because it's so narrow, so I'm thinking maybe I should bring them down. I mean, let me, let me try to attack. It seems to be working. Huh, maybe it will work. Alright, I'll try it, but I'll run away if I need to. Alright, I've got to go in hot. I've got to... I've just... I just need to keep attacking them. As long as I keep doing fast attacks, I think I can keep them at bay. Oh no. No, no, no. Okay. okay. Oh shit. Broken straight... Broken straight sword. Wait, isn't that what I picked up? I guess I've already been using a broken sword. Hmm. 
we have yet another broken sword. I do have another one. Well, I guess I'll shove it in there. Let's switch to it. Actually, let's switch to this. This one does more damage. It's a low durability one. I'm also just going to preemptively use this, because otherwise I can die in, like, one hit. Easy. Easy. Don't want to fall. <laughs> hey, what's up here? Secrets? Secrets! I love Dark Souls secrets. No. No. when they get attack and attack off on me at the same time I do. It's like, you asshole. I did it. <laughs> congratulations. I don't know what you did, but congratulations. Hurrah for something. These messages are wonderful. This person didn't do it. What'd you do? You, did you fall off? <laughs> they didn't jump. Oh, that's like me. I can't laugh too much, it's just like me. Ooh, short sword. Oh god. I think it's time to go into the mist. Let's take a look at the sword. Also, I wish the swords actually said what their range was. I, I've looked at all the stats and I'm pretty sure it's not there, but I might have missed it. And where's the short sword? Okay, what the fuck is wrong with this directional pad? I'm trying to move just like straight up and straight down, but I keep going like diagonal. What the fuck? I don't know if it's broken or if directional pads on controllers are just horrible. There it is. Let's see. Ooh, really good durability. Actually, it's like better in every possible way. It is. It's actually really damn good. All right. Let's go with that. So how short is it? It's fairly short. I'm not sure if the actual physical look of an item, like how long it actually looks to be, I'm not sure if that's completely representative of how long its range is. I'm assuming it is. This one's obviously longer, but this thing's actually slightly longer than the default broken sword. So I'm going to go with it. It's kind of hard to tell which is which. It's really fun to do the stabbing motion. You can do a roll plus attack. Does that. It's like right in the gut. Ugh. Disemboweled. Okay. I have a worrying feeling that this is a boss. So I'm going to take a drink. Alright. Here we go. Oh, okay. Well, if it is a boss, it's not attacking me yet. Wait, how did you die here? What did you die from? Maybe somebody tried to run in here. And then had to fight the enemies behind them. Is that what happened to everybody? Hmm. Be wary of ambush. I'm pretty much always wary of ambush, plus I can hear them growling. Ambush ahead, thank you. Hi. Did 
that is the attack that wrecked me before. That overhead thing is insane. I really need more than one Estus Flask. This is ridiculous. I hear you. I hear you. Yes. See if I can sneak up on him. Make sure there's nobody behind me as well. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. That guy looks dangerous. I might throw knives at him. I think I'll throw knives at this guy. I want, I want, I want you to select him. Can, can you select him? No? Okay. Let's we'll see how much health he has. Oh. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Maybe that guy wasn't even supposed to be hard. Be wary of duo. Wait, what the f bean pole ahead? What the hell's a bean pole? Yeah, I guess that warning was for people who just ran straight down here and then got attacked by the axe guy, plus the two guys inside of there, plus this guy. Oh, of course, a guy with a bow. Also, I see another guy up there. I have a feeling he's going to drop down. Who are you? Look at that guy up there. He didn't like that, did he? Holy shit! Fuck. Good old pots of fire. Gotta be a shield. Be wary of left. Alright, yeah, there's a bunch of those guys, so there's no use in wasting knives on them. They're not special enemies of any sort. I need a bonfire is what I need. Take a look at this buckler. It would appear to be a massive piece of shit. With one advantage, I guess. And that's whatever this attribute is. Wait. Let me try it. Unable to use this item effectively with present attributes. Oh, what does it need? Holy hell, yeah, it's hurting my attributes a hell of a lot. Still getting used to the controls, as you can see. Okay, I need more hand. What is hand? Dexterity! Okay, so I'm going for dexterity next. 
Not because I particularly want to use that shield, but because dexterity matters to me and I want to be high, a high movement character. I want to dodge attacks rather than absorb them, so... Yep. I'm just waiting for like a dragon to descend and burn my face. Bonfire ahead, thank god. Be wary of safe zone. Try right. Eh? I'm worried this these might be trolls. Bonfire ahead, therefore happiness. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go to the bonfire. Bonfire, bonfire, yes. Oh my god, get to it really fast. Yes, yes, glorious. Okay. By the way, I realized that I... Oh god, what the hell are you? I'll talk to you in a second. I realized that I don't know how to level. I seriously don't. So I'm apparently level 12. And it... Would appear... You have required souls, number of souls to level up. So I have more souls than I need to level up. I have a thousand, I only need 900. So how do I level up? I thought you did it at bonfires, but I'm not seeing the option. Do I need to be, like, human to level up or something? I don't know. Maybe. Hi. All the characters in the Dark Soul games are just creepy. They're so creepy. Merchant Hag Malentia. Let's just have a chat. My name is Malentia. You're a stranger to this land. Oh, we get as strangers these days. Everybody's gonna run off. Drang Lake's been a pile of rubble since the war fought long, long ago. And the giants crossed the sea. It seemed like the battles would never end. Poor folk like myself had nary a place to sleep. I swear I'll keep all me things right with me. You may travel night, but methinks you bear a burden of your own. <laughs> they say these trees grew from the remains of the giants. From each carcass sprouted new life grown into what you see now. But do you know what they also say? Don't believe what an old hag says. <laughs> So what do you have? So you buy things with souls, right? Yeah, there is no coin. Broken straight sword? Ugh. Don't use axes, I don't use clubs. Castus. Hmm. I wish I had an easy way to compare this with what I had on already. But I don't see any way to do that. Traveling merchant hat. I doubt I want to buy anything. I can even buy life gems. Fire bombs. Give some of them. Give some of those assholes a taste of their own medicine. Whoa. Ferris's lockstone activates Ferris's contraption. I don't know what that is. Lenegrast's key. Blacksmith Lenegrast's shop. 
I don't know where that is, but it sounds like that could be very useful. It's unfortunate that I can't sell anything. But I suppose they want to stop you from hoarding everything and just picking up every single thing possible and selling all of it. Just look at how beautiful this is. Okay, many, many options. I could go down. Oh, look, there's a blood stain at the bottom of the stairs. That bodes well. I could go up. And I said, could also go around. I could even fall down. But I'm guessing if I go down, I'll probably end up coming out there anyway. I love the level design in this game. It's so good. Let's take on this guy. What do I have to lose? Okay, he's got a long, 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 long reach. Three attacks. Third one is very slow. Gotcha. One, two, and... Roll and attack. Boom! Ooh, five witching urns. You know what? I want to know what happens when I do this. I am going to... I'm going to use one of these human effigies, because i got a bunch of them, and I... I'm thinking maybe I need to use them to level up. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Reverse hollowing. Uh-huh. Let's do it. I've got three of them. Whatever. See what it does. Blocks invaders from beyond. Hmm. Okay. Did that actually reverse hollowing? Was I hollow? How do I level up? And if I don't know how to level up, then how am I already level 12? I really don't understand. There's gotta be something simple I'm missing. I can't go through the rest of the game not knowing how to level up. I did read the manual for this game, by the way, when I was testing out the controller and all of that last night, off camera. And it said there's various places you can spend your souls. And stuff that it didn't, it wasn't exactly specific on where I leveled up. I thought it was bonfires. Anyway, let's see what's above. It's locked. Ooh, is that maybe the blacksmith shop? Who needs a key? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do so many people die in here? Why are there bloodstains everywhere? I don't see any enemies. Oh, wait. Did they all die from that guy? Hmm. Radiant Life Gem. It's got to restore extra health. Alright, time to roll. Not sure if there's ever anything inside of these things, but I will try anyway. Because it's so fun to destroy everything! <laughs> Beautiful. Got a 
clear this room for some, uh, make it a nice battle area. Small leather shield. Repair powder. Hmm. Small leather shield. It's a very strange looking shield. Easily usable. It's not very good. It's extremely light though. Let's we'll see how it is to use. I wonder, do lighter shields come up to block faster? Let's test it out. Hmm, doesn't seem like it. Alright, it's gotta be something nasty in here. No, I don't want to close it. I wanted to read the message. Be wary of rear. Maybe that guy woke up when they walked in the room. Here. Down. Oh. I see. Let's explore around a little bit before I go down there. Estus Flask Shard. Ooh. White Sign Soapstone. Okay, what does this stuff do? I think the soapstone's for putting down messages, but what is this Estus Flask Shard? Might allow me to make more Estus Flasks if I get enough of them. What am I doing? Soapstone. Soapstone, soapstone. What does it look like? What does soapstone look like? Store equipment durability? Mm-hmm. Grants additional Estus Flask uses. Shards are deeply soaked in Estus. Graft the shard to an Estus Flask to increase flask uses. Okay, maybe I can do that at a, at a bonfire? Or maybe I just use it? I'm not sure. There's no point in using it now, though, I don't think. Oh, there's nowhere to go but down. Okay. I'm slightly moving the stick. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Divine Blessing. Hmm. Do I burn the shard? No, I don't. In that case, I probably just use it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, can I use it? Nope. <laughs> I don't know how to use it. So that's the only thing that's up here, isn't it? Yeah, he wakes up behind you. I think it's time to go down.
Oh my. Oh my. Thank God for these life gems. Gonna need them with only one SS flask. I need to know how to use that shard. Does not open from the side. Can I wreck it? Nope. If it ain't shaking, it ain't breaking. Since that seems to be what indicates whether something can be broken, it kind of shakes when you hit it. Oh God. More mist. Front ahead. Front ahead. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Visions of Liar. What? Oh. My... Oh, shit, I think my sword's completely broken. Switch it out. Can this one be broken? Nope. Oh yeah, what does that Divine Blessing do? I never looked at it. Oh, fully restores HP, cures all status effects, okay. Not something I'm likely to use, to be honest. Well, I could drop down, but I would die. This one's locked too. Hello? I feel like I shouldn't kill them because they're not trying to attack me, but I think they... Yeah, okay. Oh, come on. Dodge. Yeah, piece of shit. Eh, let's see what's in here. <laughs> what could go wrong? Let me guess it's a boss fight. If I see a health meter appear when I enter the mist, I'm just gonna, like... Scream and quit. Where are you going? Oh, shit. I better keep on the move. Wait a minute. Am I crazy or does this, or does this remind me of, um, what is it, Demon Souls? This walkway reminds me of Demon Souls. I saw very, very, very little of it. I saw somebody stream it for a couple hours and that was it. But this reminds me of it for some reason. Maybe this is revisiting a location from it? Is that possible? Are they even set in the same universes? I'm not sure.
Oh shit. Oh, I see you. It's a strangely open, battle-looking arena for only one enemy. Yep! Yep, it sure is! What the fuck is that? Oh my god, is that a boss? Is that a fucking boss? It looks like a fucking boss. Are you teleporting? Or did you just leave? I really hope you just left. Come down from there. Come on. Are you seriously not going to come down? There we go. That solves that. Holy shit. Oh, I'm using a broken sword. Shit. Oh my god. You asshole. Alright, there we go. Try jumping and then plunging attack. Oh yes, how do you do that? I think you just attack while you're falling off, right? How the fuck do I get up there? Don't think that really worked. Maybe it did. This game is addictive. Seriously, I'm just, I keep looking over at the timer and going like, it's already been 50 minutes? Oh my god. You lose so much time to this game, it's amazing. Let's see if this guy pops up again. Be wary of tough enemy. No shit. And some huge bird came down and deposited a dude. That sounded kind of strange, but I'm going to roll with it. That seriously hurt. That hurt. I fell down like... 8 feet. Come on. I see you hiding in the corner. I feel like I'm going to be assaulted from the sides. Uh... What the fuck they shoot? Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> I was using my item and then I looked back up and... Yeah. Common fruit. A spotted fruit temporarily boosts poison resist. I really need to know how to level up. I seriously do. I find it hard to believe that it's something they simply haven't introduced yet in the game, so I'm pretty sure it's just something I'm missing. I might have to look that up. I think I'll make an exception to my playing blind thing. If I can't figure out how to level up on my own, because that's kind of important. 
Yeah, I'm still level 12. Yep. What am I missing? Are there special bonfires? Like, massive bonfires that allow you to level up or something? I don't know. Okay, well, sadly, much as I love this game, I do have to end this episode a little bit early. I gotta go. Got plans. But as soon as I come back, I'm gonna be playing more Dark Souls. I freaking love this game. I'm... After the very rough first episode, I'm a lot happier with how things are going now. I'm doing so much better with a controller. A controller is just way, way, way better for this game. And now I'm actually semi-competent. Still fumbling a bit. And there's still quite a few things I don't know, but I'm doing so much better. It's much more satisfying. The first episode was mostly frustrating more than fun. This one has actually been a lot of fun. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.